Earlier this year, I reviewed Good Notes and Notability and compared them to ultimately tell you which one was better at that time. And spoiler alert, Good Notes 5 actually won that very tight battle back then. I'm Joe with Paper Like, and with Good Notes and Notability both releasing very important updates, I feel that it's time to revisit this ongoing war. So let's dive right into it. If you have been using Good Notes and Notability for quite some time, this is where you'll notice the first big differences when compared to previous versions. Both UIs have been redesigned, so it's even easier to find and navigate through your notes. But some things actually stay the same. GoodNote 6 has a user interface displayed as a list or a grid. That's pretty much unchanged. But the sidebar, on the other hand, that's new. You can open it by clicking on the icon at the top left. It includes a search tool, a place for your shared documents, quick access to your bookmark note pages, which are basically your favorites, and the in-app marketplace where you can purchase new templates, covers, stickers, and so much more. There are also icons at the top right for more tools like settings, bug editing, or notifications. Notability, on the other hand, has stayed pretty true to itself. The app has your folders on the left sidebar and your notes within those folders are displayed on the right. You can display your notes as a list or a grid and you can add dividers which work as collapsible toggles to keep your workspace more organized. It's a practical and efficient approach that stayed pretty much unchanged, and rightly so. As for navigation, well, it's pretty simple in both apps. With GoodNote 6, it's pretty straightforward. You'll have to open a folder to get to the specific notes you're looking for. Some might say it's a bit limiting, but fortunately there are some ways around that. Using the sidebar you can quickly access any of your shared or bookmarked documents, so those are actually always very easy to find. Unlike GoodNote 6, Notability sidebar offers a better access to every divider, folder or document. And if you've got Notability Plus, shared, recent, favorite and unfiled notes sections are on the same sidebar as well. Lastly, while GoodNote 6 offers a very powerful search tool both on the free and on the paid versions, Notability's search tool is only available if you have a subscription. Okay, all that being said, I still got to give it to Notability, especially if you have Notability Plus. If you don't have a subscription, the lack of a search tool and the lack of visibility for bookmarked notes, for example, is kind of limiting, so it would pretty much even it out. However, Notability's sidebar offers a much more easy and direct access to all your dividers, folders and notes, and that's a huge plus in my opinion. If you're looking for an easy way to manage your notes, Notability is a great option for you. From the main screen, you'll create a folder on the left sidebar and house all your notes within that subject. You can easily drag and drop notes between folders, so relocating misplaced notes is actually super easy. Folders go in dividers and you can nest dividers up to five layers deep, which is pretty neat. On the other hand, GoodNotes offers a few more options to help you stay organized. You can nest folders within folders within folders, which is pretty cool. I tested it up to 10 layers of depth, which is pretty much more than anyone would need and GoodNote 6 would still allow me to create more. GoodNote 6 also has a very powerful search tool which can read type notes, texts and also your handwritten notes. Notability can basically do the same thing, but it's behind a paid subscription. As for note creation, with Notability it's really easy. All you need to do is hit this button right here and the app will instantly create a new note within the subject you've selected in the sidebar. And that's it, it's fast and simple. Any new note is generated with a default template, but you'll find other options at the bottom of the screen when you open a new note. These new templates have been added with recent new updates, but if you feel this is still not enough, you can also tap on the more button than template settings to go to the full template gallery. It's safe to say that Notability offers more inbuilt templates than GoodNotes does. You'll find digital planners, worksheets, and much more. With GoodNotes 6, document management and creation remains completely unchanged. When you create a new document, the app will ask you what kind of document you'd like to create and then guide you through the appropriate workflow. What you choose in the beginning will actually define what options you have. Notebooks and quick notes will hold your notebooks, images, scanned documents, while folders will hold pretty much anything. This isn't actually a huge issue, by the way, because GoodNotes allows you to move things around pretty quickly and easily. You can drag and drop to rearrange your pages, add a certain page to a certain notebook. All of that is really easy to do. With the launch of GoodNote 6, you can even create custom themes, meaning that you can create custom page sizes, adjusting the height and the width, 
to whatever you desire. You can also change both the background and foreground colors to create something really unique. In conclusion here, I think both apps have huge pros and some cons. So it really depends on what you prefer. The question for you is basically, how much time are you gonna spend on the app? Because the quick note creation process in Notability encourages you to create a lot of notes. Basically, you start a meeting or a class, you open a new note, you write whatever you need, you close it down and next time you open another one. Whereas with good notes, creating a note feels more like a commitment. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You see, the note creating process is a bit longer, but gives you a lot of options. And having the possibility to nest your folders is actually pretty cool. So if you're looking for something that is quick to use and simple to open, Notability might be the best choice for you. If you want something that is a bit more complex, but offers you more customization and organizational features, GoodNotes is the best bet. And now to what matters most. GoodNotes 6 and Notability provide very similar but very robust toolkits for you to take notes. Both include a pen tool, a highlighter, an eraser, a lasso tool, and a text box tool. These present only minor differences from one app to the other. Let's say that customization options in size, color, pressure, sensitivity can vary, but all in all, it's all very similar. There are some unique features to both apps that are really worth mentioning. First, Notability's pencil tool. It's pressure sensitive and has tilt activated shading. GoodNotes doesn't provide a pencil tool and their brush tool really doesn't compare anything to this pencil tool when it comes to drawing or sketching. On the other hand, GoodNotes 6 allows you to scribble out some words with your Apple Pencil, and this is just not possible on Notability. Now to something that I consider pretty sad. Notability used to have a favorite toolbar, which I loved. And sadly, in July 2023, they actually got rid of it. I can't understand the reasons behind it, but I was such a fan of the favorites toolbar. So I was kind of disappointed when it happened. So with this change, you can no longer save your favorite pen type and pen width, but you can still add your favorite colors to the preset options. And you'll get up to eight spots for this purpose. On GoodNotes, it's actually pretty similar. The app gives you seven slots for your colors, but GoodNotes also allows for unlimited custom colors. With Notability, custom colors are actually behind the subscription. Now, something interesting about GoodNotes 6 is that it comes with a lasso tool, just like Notability. But GoodNotes 6 actually pretty much made the lasso tool obsolete. You can now select anything by just drawing a circle around it and tapping on it. It's so much quicker and intuitive. Shape recognition is present on both apps, obviously. Notability offers shape detection, where you draw the desired shape with your Apple Pencil and hold it in place until the app redraws everything with the perfect dimensions. GoodNotes offers something very similar and offers a shape tool that you can use to fill shapes with colors and snap shape lines together. Now, there are two more tools that actually come exclusively on Notability when compared to GoodNotes, and those are the ruler, now available on free and paid versions, and the tape tool. This was added back in April, and it allows you to temporarily hide your content by covering it up with just a piece of digital tape. As for handwriting, both apps support the Apple Pencil 2 as well as third-party styluses. Both apps support handwriting to text conversion. And GoodNote 6 provides AI-powered writing. I, I don't know, I don't know if it's hot where you are, but where I live, it's blazing outside. And like I feel I'm just in a furnace right now. So sorry for that. What was I saying? GoodNotes 6 also provides AI-powered writing aids. These allow GoodNotes to learn and generate text to your handwriting. Right now, it can basically spell check like a Word document. It's far from perfect, but it's actually a pretty cool tool. Last but not least, Notability also shines when it comes to work on multiple documents simultaneously. While in GoodNotes, you can open multiple tabs like you do on your web browser, for example, Notability allows you to actually open two documents side by side in app. And this makes comparing notes or just copying something so much easier. Some might say that you can do exactly the same by opening two instances of good notes side by side, which can be kind of clunky and come on. Notability has supported this feature for years already. Okay. This one is actually pretty tough for me because I was such a big fan of Notability's favorite toolbar. But still, even without it, I have to give it to Notability here. I just feel that the overall toolkit is a bit more complete. The pencil tool actually might take it away just by itself. Other tools like the ruler or the tape tool are also pretty nice additions. So that 
doesn't really mean that GoodNotes is far behind. It's not the case. GoodNotes has been adding a lot of cool stuff to their toolkit in the past years, but it's still not there yet. We might revisit this in a few months and my mind might have changed by then. Writing notes is obviously the main focus of note-taking apps, but there are plenty of other little features that can be really, really helpful. PDF or image annotation is possible both in GoodNotes and Notability. Notability offers a great audio recording tool for note-takers. When recording, Notability's audio is synced in real time with the notes while you take them. And during playback, Notability will highlight the text as it was written during the recording, so that you can better understand why you noted something down. For a very long time, this was unique to Notability, until GoodNotes actually added something very similar in January 2023. And the same goes for Notability's math conversion tool. The app can recognize math expressions, symbols, elements and rules, which GoodNotes had no comparable counterpart, until the release of GoodNotes 6. Now, if we're talking about unique features, GoodNotes already offered the flashcards maker. It used to be pretty clunky, but it was there and it was nice to use. But GoodNotes added study sets earlier this year, which makes it just so much easier to do. Lastly, GoodNotes 6 introduced two new learning features. The first is interactive exam practice. These are basically prep courses to help students prepare for very important exams. And the other tool you can check out is the AI math assistant. When you're working through a math problem, GoodNotes 6 can actually spot mistakes that you're making. Although it only works in one of the prep courses, for now, GoodNotes has plans to turn it into a full-fledged AI tutor. This for me is actually the first very clear win, and we have to give it to GoodNotes. Where Notability had two very cool unique features in their math conversion tool and uh, audio recording tool, GoodNotes has them as well and has added some pretty interesting AI tools that really elevate the app. You can't beat the convenience of digital note-taking when it comes to sharing your notes and having your notes accessible pretty much anywhere if you have your digital devices with you. GoodNotes and Notability handle these areas pretty much the same way, except that Notability requires you to have a subscription to have access to most of its features. Yep, you heard it, for Notability users, iCloud Sync or any kind of backup is behind the paid subscription. Now, both apps allow you to backup your data on third-party storage services like Dropbox or Google Drive, for example, and the backup process is very similar from GoodNotes to Notability. The only big difference is, well, again, for Notability users, you need to have a paid subscription to backup your data, which is really terrifying. Now. When it comes to sharing, both apps allow you to share and export your content. But they go about it in pretty different ways. With Notability, you can use the link sharing feature to share it with pretty much anyone. So anyone who has that link has access to your notes. However, collaborative editing is not possible on Notability. GoodNotes, on the other hand, doesn't allow non-users to open or view any notes. To open a shared link, you need to have an updated version of the app, but it allows for collaborative editing, even in real time, which is something that is just not possible on Notability. And that's part of the reason why I have to give it to GoodNotes here. Notability's link sharing feature is great if you need someone to just read over your notes, but the collaborative aspect of GoodNotes just takes it away from me. And on the other hand, not being able to back up my data if I don't pay for the subscription just terrifies the hell out of me. And now to the last and decisive section, pricing and updates. And this is where the apps mostly diverge from one another. GoodNote 6 offers a free trial for as long as you want. To take full advantage of the app, you can buy it with a one-time purchase of $29.99, or with a subscription model of $9.99. The subscription model is new to GoodNotes, as before GoodNotes 6, it was only possible to upgrade via a one-time purchase. And aside the limitations with the number of notebooks you can create, pretty much all the features are unlocked on the free version anyways. It's also important to note that if you were a GoodNotes 5 user, but wanted to upgrade to GoodNotes 6, 
you needed either to repurchase the app or subscribe to the latest version. Notability, on the other hand, has a free plan and a subscription plan. It is $14.99 a year, but there is no option for you to buy it as a one-time purchase like you have on GoodNotes. Although Notability's free plan is very usable for casual note takers, it comes with very big limitations in regards to storage and syncing. Also, keep in mind that the free version of Notability limits the number of edits you can do per month on your notes, and weirdly enough, the app is pretty vague about how many edits you can actually do. As far as updates are concerned, GoodNotes appears to still update all its content for GoodNote 6, and Notability has mentioned that some new features might only be available with a subscription, but it's pretty unclear how the company will actually choose which features will be put behind the subscription wall. So if you're looking strictly at costs, GoodNote 6 is the best bet. I mean, even with the new subscription plan, it's still more affordable than Notabilities, and you still have the possibility to just pay up front and buy it all at once. Another thing is that you won't probably have to worry about key features being put behind the subscription wall. Based on how I use these apps and how I feel most of you are going to be using these apps as well, I do believe that GoodNote 6 is a better and more complete app for most users. That being said, I also believe that Notability is a more practical note-taking experience. It's just a great tool for anyone who just wants a place to quickly take notes and not think about it anymore. So if you're looking for something really simple, Notability is the best choice for you. But all in all, GoodNote 6 feels nicer to use, especially over the long term. The app has some incredible features, it actually caught up to some of the unique features that Notability had, and it's just more complete in terms of how you can organize your workflow. And this concludes our video. I really hope this was helpful, but what do you think? Like, what's your favorite app? Hop in the comments and let me know. And if you just got an iPad and don't know how to set it up, here's a quick video that will help you get started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.